So, hello and welcome. My name is Tim Croker. I'm happy to be here. I'd like to thank Alex, wherever he's outside. So, <laughs> whatever. Um, yeah, let's start. So, let me check. Oh, where's my front page? That's actually the front page. So today I like to talk about music notation. And I don't like to go too much into detail about the music notation itself, but how I came up with the idea. So like I said, my name is Tim Kroker. I'm a professional drummer. I'm a finger drummer. I actually am an electronic musician. My main band and project is the band Front 242 from Belgium. I'm playing with those guys for 27 years now. And um, <laughs> yeah. I started as kind of a jazz musician, and now I'm an electronic musician. I don't know when that came. Um, one and a half year ago, so actually this is the topic. I bought this beautiful machine from Soma, the Pulsar 23, and this is um, a modular drum machine. And what can I say? I love it. The problem is, so I don't know if, if you know what module is. You can have cables. You can connect everything to create new sounds, different sounds. So nothing is really fixed. And the beauty of this, it is that you just play. Who, who is into modular synthesizer? Synthesizer at least one, two. Yeah, nowadays quite popular. I always, I always try to avoid because I think I don't have that much money, and I have a little fear, but. Um, this is cool. So anyway, so the cool thing is like I sit there and for half an hour, let's say, and then two to three minutes, I think are brilliant. Best. Incredible. Then 15 minutes are medium, and the last, what do we have left? I don't know. Whatever, 15 minutes, it's just bullshit. It's really not good. It's like fumbling around, looking for something, and I was like, hmm. That's not good. I mean, I never could, could present something like this, because for those two minutes, I have to search for 30 minutes. It doesn't work. I was like, OK, I record, and then I try to figure out what I did and, and take the best pieces. Doesn't work at all. Audio recording, I have no clue what I did before. I, so I was video recording. Man, that's cumbersome. You watch the video, and then, well, what did I do with that knob? What is, oh, where's the cable? I was like. No, nah, that's not for, not for me. Maybe for you, I don't know. And I was like, hey, I'm a musician. Actually, I'm even a professional musician. I know how to write notes. I like to write it down. So I, oh no, wait, before, I, you, you see, it already took me, it's already took me away. I like to address first the elephant in the room, talking about notation. Do we need a notation system? I mean, do we really need it? Think about it. Because this was something, um, a lot of reaction from people. Yeah, do we really need it? And I found this out about people. A lot of people just ask those questions to give you the answer, no. Because they are not willing to do something new, to do something different. And then they are coming with um, ideas like, yeah, we never needed that, and why should we? And it's anyway much better to uh, play free and improvise and say, yeah, but it's not a competition at all. I just had an idea. Mm -hmm. So what do you think? What could be a good question to ask if we talk about notation? It's not like, do we need that? What do we need? I mean, hey, it's more like, what could be the benefits of a system if we write things down? Mm -hmm. And here are some of my ideas, and there is why I came up with it. For me, it serves as a reminder, for instance, so that I really know exactly what did I do. I like to write it down, like, OK, yeah, that's it. And then I found out it helps to organize myself. It's like, OK, if I start now, I'm not just starting and fumbling around, but OK, maybe I start with a bass drum. Then I do this, then I do that. And most of 
musical pieces, tracks, are organized like in bars of eight or 16, so it has a form. And that all comes, comes into play, um, which I found out, like, oh, that's actually cool if I just write it down and, and just have think about how long can this part be. Um, so what else have you? It makes it accessible for other people, not just as a video, but I mean, classical music, they have sheet paper and then they, they just play it, that's great. Um, it could be a good starting point, like for practicing stuff, but that's all, I, I write something down that I just do not forget it. And maybe the biggest point, I think, it's, it makes it possible to compose and write for different instruments in a traditional way. And this is something I'm looking for years now, that there's much more, that we see electronic instruments more like instruments, and we play together. It's not like a solo thing, which is fine. I'm not criticizing anything, like pushing the, the play button and then you start, but to interact, to do something together. Yeah? And right now, most people with electronic music, if they play together, they improvise. But why not having something that you really have your notes and then, okay, now let's play this piece of music. It's not too bad what Mozart did or Beethoven or who else, Stravinsky, or even Karl-Heinz Stockhausen. So those are the ideas. What did I do? I checked the internet, of course. So I typed in, what did I, musical notation for modular analog synthesizer. And this is what you see. And I was like, oops, that was rather complicated. <laughs> Uh, that's especially not this, they're all good. Um, and of course, I've found from those guys, Karl Heinz Stockhausen, friend of Alex, um, very popular not notation, Cornelius Cardu and uh, Ligeti. And I love it, I love it, but I have no idea what I should do. First of all, I have to, to, I don't know, to learn everything or to study it for a year before I'm able to really, really uh, play it. I think this is, there's not a lot of, of room for improvisation. This is just improvisation, and this, I have no idea what it is. It looks beautiful. I would take it in my living room as a picture, but how, how to play it, I have no clue. It was like, hmm, yeah. So actually, I was looking for something like this. This I understand. This is for the piano, I hardly understand, but this is for drums, this I understand. And you have typical things like notes and rests and repeating signs, and um, here you have a, a decrescendo, that means you, you get uh, softer, and all of those things, I know those things, I'm like, I like to have this. And this was the main idea. I could not find anything, maybe you know something, that other people are doing it. I needed something that I really can recreate a piece of music on a synthesizer. It don't have to be a modular synthesizer, but in general, a synthesizer. And I came up with this, so that takes a while, I guess. First thing of all, I really have to write down where I put all my cables because this is an initial thing, so it's not like a piano, a piano is a piano is a piano, I sit there, but I have to define what kind of instrument do I have here. And this I do with this little signs, and I have to put where my, my knobs exactly are, that I have the right starting point. Mm -hmm.
stick. And that's just what I have to do with an up. So I say exactly, okay, I take the attenuator, for instance, an up, and I start at seven. Seven means just seven o'clock. That is the position when it's fully closed on this instrument. And I open it to 12 o'clock in those four bars I have. Quite easy. And that's it. It's so easy that I was uh, kind of, oh, here we go, a little bit embarrassed because it's like, that's it. But at the very end, it works. I tried to play this, this piece a couple of times. Today, there was no time and I have to rehearse it. That's another thing that's then uh, similar to uh, an acoustic instrument. You have to rehearse. When do I do what? And that's all we have. Okay. Um, ah, you see in, in, the, in the top row there's a little blue thing, it's, it's very hard to see. So it, it jumps bar by bar that you can see what I'm doing there. Um, but actually that's it. And I just have two hands so I maximum can, can take two knobs. So it's cool just to have one knob is on, on top one. Sorry. This is what one hand is doing, and on, on the button is what the other hand have to watch all of them. This is the main idea. And I was quite happy because it worked. And that was the main thing. Is it really possible, like half a year later, I take those note sheet, I have uh, the sheets, how I have to, to put the cables, and is it really possible to reproduce this piece? And it is. And this was kind of great. Otherwise, never ever I could play this again. It would be lost. And for me, it's not too much important to create like something on a music on Spotify or something. For me, it's important to do something and maybe even give the idea away. So if I give you the notes and you have the Pulsar 23, you could play this piece of music. And I think this is fabulous. I love it. But. Uh, coming back to the computer, struggling again with the computer. Okay, are there any drawbacks or difference to traditional notation? And I've, I actually just found two things. Um, one was again a friend of mine, I showed him the thing, he was like, nah, listen to the first eight bars, didn't understand anything, didn't like it. I was like, hmm, <laughs> that's a pity. What he meant is like, it's not always, there's not always a relationship between the notation and that what you hear. Actually what I do and what Alex is doing as well is a notation of the movement we are doing. Yeah? So I push an up or I turn an up, something happens. So what happened is not um, immediately, uh, what's the word? So you cannot immediately understand what's happening. So you just see I push a button or I turn an up. Which is okay for me. On the other side, I thought if you have um, sheet music, an orchestra score, who is able to read this, to really get an imagination out of this, maybe, maybe a conductor so can, can really read this, but all the other people, it's, it's not possible. And if I would spend 
as much as time with this machine, like with a real instrument, maybe I really would understand what I wrote down because I can make the connections and I can think, okay, if I connect this, this will happen and this will sound like this and this will sound like that. So maybe it is possible. It's just a matter of we didn't do it yet or there's nobody who worked on this machine like for eight hours a day. And I guess it's the same with, with Alex thing. He said he can, can have any sound with his notation, and that is true, but if you know, okay, now I take a bass drum sound and I do this with his notation, maybe you get a clear impression or a clear idea how it will sound. So I'm not quite sure with that, but this, this is a problem. And a last problem for me is like, if I would play with other instruments together, and they say, okay, that was great, but let's say in bar 100, there was a little bit, that was a little tricky, let's start there. It's like, I cannot start there. It's not possible because from part bar one to 100, a lot happened. I have to recreate that everything before I start on 100 with those settings I need in that moment. And it's like, hmm, um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe if you would write it down and then you have special, I don't know, after 25 bars, you need a new little, little sheet with, with all the cables or what you did with a new starting point. But anyway, you still, I mean, I need, for this, I don't know, 10 minutes to, to put the cables on the right point, to have all the, the buttons at the right position. It takes a while. So it's not like, yeah, let's start at bar 100. It's just not possible. Um, this, those are the, the two biggest drawbacks for me. I don't know. So. That's it for me. Uh, I just brought another little thing because that was just available last week. A guy he's into uh, called Omri Cohn. He's uh, always doing videos about modular synthesizer and he released a little book. And this is not a notation. Oh, we cannot see that now. Um, but this is more like a, a, a sketching book how, how you cable those things. So this exists. Yeah, this is more how I build my instruments. What can I do in book form? I love that. That was the reason I bought it immediately, but it's not a composition. That's just something different. Any questions, any things? Please don't, have it. Well, <laughs> please don't hesitate to ask. Otherwise, I'm still around. If you have questions, please just ask questions. Thank you very much.